Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome to a limited series, Abandoned Ship. This game is in development. They have released their first stage of the game, the combat demo, which we'll get into here shortly. I believe this is only going to be two episodes long because the combat demo is fairly limited, but this game looks amazing, and uh, if you want to see... Like, this will be shown the combat. Great, you're going to get to see that. We're going to get a pretty good feel for what's going on there. We're going to get a little bit of the feel of what the ports and stuff are like and what your ship maintenance is like. But there is an incredibly big exploration part of this game. It's so huge. And you can't see that from me. But if you look in the video description, there's a link to the combat uh, to, uh, trailer. I mean the exploration trailer, and then it also ha you can follow through that down the little rabbit hole to find out all sorts of great stuff about this game, and, and there's a lot of cool stuff out there. So I definitely recommend you check that out, but for now we're going to go ahead and jump right into the combat demo, because that's all we have. So this combat demo will take us through 10 sequential battles of increasing difficulty, and the full game will be able to navigate through the world via an exploration mode, and there's like hundreds of maps available in this game, it's so crazy. Uh, what we're about to play is only one facet of the game. Everything is alpha quality. There may be bugs, or work in progress, and so forth. So here we go. Before we start, do we want to visit the port or review our crew? After this point, we'll have a limited amount of times I may visit the port. I believe that's five. Um, so let's look at our crew first. And here we have uh, Sydney, the captain. Well, Sydney, we are going to name you Andrew. After our friend Andrew P, as usual, I will be naming our crew after the Patreon patrons on my Patreon page. If you'd like to have your name in the game, check out vanilla, what is it, patreon.com slash vanilla PC strategy. Link's in the description. I'm not going to go on and on about it. And we have Ben here up next is, we did Andrew Nanette, A-N-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, right? Yes, Nanette, and finally, Caleb. Welcome, Patreon, patrons, Patreon patrons, whatever. Welcome, all of you. So we have a captain who is good at navigation, uh, reloading, repairing, and melee. And Ben is good at reloading because he's a shooter guy. Uh, Nanette is good at repairing because she's a anchor lady. And Caleb is good at navigating because he's Mr. Compass Boy. So uh, there we go. We've got our crew renamed. I bet you we can't see any of these things. Yeah, they don't even open up. All right, great. That's our journal. Uh, next up, we're going to go to port. Here in our port, we can visit shops to repair and upgrade. We can visit the tavern to recruit new crew. We can sail back to sea. Let's start out with the upgrades here. So... We've got cannons on two sides of our ships. We have a grape shot gun, which is for anti-personnel, and we have a chain gun, which is for uh, tearing out sails. Um, we do not need to do any repairs. We're fully, our hull right here, you can see is, excuse me, completely full. So I could buy a section damager. Needs to work on some of these names. Uh, high section damage for no hull damage. Not quite sure what sections are. Sure shot, accuracy over damage, high accuracy, especially at far range, low damage to hull and sections, small crew damage. Now I think I wanna focus on like close up and uh, crew damaging stuff. Mortar shell hits the ship with such force that it triggers a brace for impact test. That's a pretty good one, but it costs 150. So we'd have to spend all of our money on that. High hull section and crew damage creates a hull crack and short range cannon that fires double projectiles. Hmm, high hull and section damage, small damage to crew. All right, and upgrades. Icebreaker makes sense. Basics crow's nest, extra information on nearby events. Probably not that useful in what we're doing. A winch would allow us to bring people from overboard. Do we not have a winch already? Where would I even put that? Yeah, I think we already have a winch. We have a lifeboat. Is that where the winch would go? We ha we already have a basic crow's nest? I'm surprised. And uh, hull armor reduces hull damage by 10%. We could upgrade our navigation, our sails, or our 
healing rate. Hmm. Uh, or we could buy more supplies. Well, I think we're pretty good on all that stuff. I'm not uh, not being very decisive, am I? Ship right, we can't do. So, well, I think I'll add some more cannons. How much do those cost? Ooh. Oh, so I didn't get all my money back. I should not have sold that one then. That was dumb. Wow. Oh, well. What's done is done. Um, hmm. All right, let's return to port because I think I'm going to get another crew member. So we have 93 money left. Oh, this guy looks pretty good. Or this guy. What would I rather have? Which one is this? Is that reloading? Or repair? You know what? I think I'm going to go for the repair guy. He's a little cheaper too. So, All right, there we go. Let's bring him on. And um, good. Return to port. Can I... I did that. I did that. Let's go back to C. Let's look at our crew real quick here because we're going to go ahead and name this one Chani. Welcome, Chani. Sorry, Elation is facile. You're the one person I haven't been able to get in there. Uh, so let's go fight. Get to our first... Oh, so great thing. You can pause this game. Thank goodness, because I have had to play so many games I couldn't pause. All right. So I want to get my navigator on the... Um, on the wheel. It's kind of silly that he's where he is. I'm going to go ahead and have this guy maybe... Uh, is this, this is the chain... No, this is the Gatling gun. That's the chain gun. So I can kind of leave this guy un... just like out in the middle of nowhere. Navigator's going to go take the wheel. And you, I want you on that. And I want you on that. Right? I feel like Mr. Anchor, is it Mr. Sword? Oh, no, nobody's really good at guns. The captain is. All right, that's fine. Okay, so you take the wheel. We want to set a, oh yeah, it's unmanned, of course. There we go. So we want to set our closeness to be closer. Uh, that way we'll be able to use this, chain, this uh, Gatling gun uh, or grape shot gun more effectively. Uh, and right now we're loading up our cannons and stuff. Uh, this guy can't really do much, but he's gonna he's gonna worry about repairs and stuff when when that becomes uh, a relevant thing. I need to keep my ears open for like little bells that sound alarms and stuff. Watch for the uh, guns to get fully loaded so we can start doing them. I don't expect this fight to be too much of a challenge. I'll take out their sails, attack there and whatnot. Oh, and we have a, a breach in our hull already, but that's why I got Mr. Repairman out here. There we go. Very good. Getting closer. Looks like we're going to move in a little bit. Oh, great. Our chain is ready to go again. I'm going to move him over to the uh, other cannon now. Maybe? Let's try that again. There we go. Over to the other cannon. And you, I guess you could get onto this cannon. But now we'll be able to start killing their crew directly, which I'd, I'd much rather kill their crew off so I can take their ship, you know, like alive or whatever, rather than having to uh, uh, have it sink. I mean, if it sinks, it sinks. So you can see up here, that's their whole strength. This is how much water they've taken on board. We've got the same thing down here. We've got a little bit of water on board, and we have a pretty strong hull integrity. So if we need to pump water out, we would use that. We do have the winch, yep, and we've got a lifeboat and all that, which we don't really need to worry about. And there we go. We've got our grape shot. Let's try to shoot both of those. Ah, I hit the wrong key. Try to shoot both those guys. Nice, nice job, Captain. Keep firing. Up, oh, we're ready to go over here. Keep tearing down those sails. So you can see we've got their sails partially operational, their weapons partially operational. All of our stuff is fully operational. But, you know, I mean, this is the, the 
lowest level difficulty. So uh, Johnny F Fixer Up is going to come over, fix that stuff up. Chain Shot is ready to go again. Nice. Ah, now see that? That caused some real problems because they're having to having to repair and their their ship is still taking on water. I would m much rather kill these guys. So I think I'm actually going to take these guys off of uh, the guns because I don't want to sink their ship. But if I can keep slowing it down and keep shooting them with that grape shot, although they've they've got a surgeon over there and he's doing a pretty good job of. Uh, healing. Yeah, that guy's in bad shape. Yeah, you know what? I think uh sinking the ship might be the might be the best bet. Just get it over with. Cuz they they're, they're going to heal themselves up. We could get closer and jump over there and um and and do melee on them, you know? We could also ram them. That's an option. I could try to take out their doctor. But they're not able to do much right now. They're mostly just working on repairs. And there we go. We've sunk them. Look at that. They had some sort of weird green cannon. Oh. Have we not sunk them yet? Take that. <laughs> and before your ship sinks. All right, nice job. Glub, glub, glub. Crew draws straws for who gets booty. Reclamation duty. No one likes diving for sodden booty. But we got 64 gold. Um, oh, there we go. You may visit the port maximum of five times. We fought one battle. There are nine to go. You know what? Let's say we're ready to go on to the next battle. Nobody took any damage. Morale seems fine. Did I not buy uh Oh, I guess I should have bought some supplies. But we'll buy them after this battle. All right, so it would be nice if, it, if everybody was stayed where they were. But that's okay. Oh, you know what? I want you on the chain thingy. You can get on that gun. You stay off. You go ahead and go there. And Mr. Navigator, grab, take the wheel. All right, did I not get on the chain thingy? Weapons will only reload and fire for crew members manning them, yeah. Oh, oh, it's loading, okay, got it. Great, draw in, actually draw in all the way if you can. That's the way to do it. And I don't know why you're over there. I mean, I guess you could be reloading that gun, which we can't really use from this distance, but at least it'll be loaded up for later when we can use it. All right, sails, ahoy. Nice job. Cannons ahoy. It doesn't really make any difference where you aim it, I don't think. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm taking, giving the uh, captain some damage there when I do that. Probably it'd be smart to attack their weapons. Looks like they have like a flaming weapon coming at me, so need to uh, keep an eye out for that. All right, we've got that gun loaded up, so why don't you work a little bit on repairs? Just, we should be able to stay ahead on repairs pretty easily. And we have a good navigator, so... Shouldn't have too much trouble. Of course, this is only the second, only the second battle. And uh, looking at the clock, this might end up being a three-part series, because I don't think we're going to get five battles in uh, by the end of this, so... Uh, good news, I guess. Not not really good news, because I can't save it. So I'm going to have to record all three in a row. And that's bad news for my throat. Um, but, you know, it's good news for you guys. So I should have... Uh, well, whatever. Just stick stick with what we're doing. Don't talk about other stuff that's irrelevant. All right. Um, we can start doing the chain shot now. So I'm going to get one more shot in on their sails. And then I'm going to move... El Capitan over to this gun. Oh. A lot of uh, shots coming around him. And then we're going to see if we can get a good combo. Oh, I can hit all three of those guys? That would be amazing. Nice job. Alright, well we'll keep that going. And 
and uh, we're gonna keep these guys to uh, nothing else really needs to be repaired all right like, can we have two people loading the cannons at once does that go twice as fast if you do that looks like it does cool although you know what I want you on the chain chain thing chain gun and then maybe do some more repairs if we need them but right now we don't really need so many repairs it'd be nice to take out one of their crew members but we're going to sink their ship before we even get close to doing that. Um, yeah, they, we have some of our weapons are damaged. No problem. Here comes our chain, our, uh, that thing, Gatling gun. Whatever it is, there's our chain gun. And we've drawn in close. So this should pretty much take care of it. There it goes. Bye-bye, shippy. One last, oh, invalid target. Too late, whoops. I tried, tried to get one last thing in. Among the flotsam, your crew find a number of trunks, nothing but junks. Uh, one of them exclaims, another looks crestfallen. Well, that's too bad. All right, so we do need to get some food. Do we wish to continue on to the next combat or visit a port first? I don't even know if we, we use food, but let's go there. Let's do some upgrades. For example, well, first off, let's repair our ship and let's buy some supplies. Oh, supplies are expensive. All right, we'll stick with 20. Um, I don't know what those things are. Oh, heavy hull spikes, causing high damage when ramming, also causes damage to enemy ships when they ram you. Well, we can't afford that now. We already have a winch. And a lifeboat. I don't need whole armor. Um, we have grape shot, so I can't like add more grape shot. Bar shot does no damage, but stops all maneuvers for a short duration. Can be targeted at sail is only. Hmm. Um, all right, I'm not really interested in those things either. I see. Uh, so what we could do, we have 96 left. We could get another crew member. So yeah, let's do that. We could buy some more guns, but I think another crew member would, uh, would take care of that for us. Yeah. Ah, like a surgeon would be fantastic. We don't really need a better navigator. Hmm. A better gunner would be good too, because we could... We could really load up those guns fast. And I don't, we don't really need a surgeon. Plus, we can't afford it. So you know what? There we go. And uh, the good news is I can now um, rename this one for my other patron. Patron? Elation is vessel. There we go, great, welcome aboard. All right, let's get one more battle in and then we will put a cut in here. So close a journal, next battle. All right, so they've got a full crew. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us here. We're gonna go ahead and stick you. That's right, we can have two people on the guns at once, can't we? All right, you, my friend, go to the wheel. Wait a minute, how many people am I gonna put on that gun? You go to that gun. You're already on that gun, right? You're on that gun. Oh, weird. All right. So we should be able to get some pretty heavy shots in based on this uh, thing. I like how, oh, they're closing in on us. Well, that can't be uh, that can't be good. Are they gonna like try to, uh, you know what? Let's maintain our distance. If they want to close in, maybe there's a reason we don't want to close in. Oh, and they got a mortar on there. That's a reason I would want to close in, to be honest. I'm gonna start damaging their sails up. There we go. Put that there. Let's focus on that mortar. And we have a repair guy right there. Very nice. Everything else is holding up just fine. Hmm. 
little bit of damage there, but that's what Mr. Repairman is for. Actually, hardly any damage, to be honest. Get him back over onto the, uh, back over onto there. I don't know why that one doesn't just keep shooting at the sails repeatedly. Um, we should have you over here on the... Actually... Yeah, that's fine. Why don't you come over and get on that? And we'll keep repairing those. Oh, flaming... Uh, flaming stuff. Uh, just the one spot, though. All right, and we have plenty of... of uh, our stuff is not too badly damaged. All right, and uh, sails, I guess, would be the next repair. Our hull is holding up just fine. Their hull is in bad shape. Uh-oh. Oh, they sent over... They have these little... Um, these creatures that will come over and attack us if we're not careful. Oh, I might be able to take out their captain. That'd be awesome. And I need to get our melee guy attacking him. Nice! Killed their captain. Very nice. Alright, and you need to... Actually, I'm going to have you attack this guy, too. We're going to gang up on him. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that was that was pretty, uh, pretty fortunate that I was able to take out the captain like that. Get this guy back on there. Send this guy over to heal up. There we are. Continue firing. Taking some damage, but nothing too serious. Might be able to kill another one of their guys with that shot right there. Ah, very close, but didn't quite make it. Up, oh, we did kill another one of their guys. Good job, everybody. All right, um, repair up the sails. Everybody just keep on firing. You're doing great. Get another shot at their sails. We'll get another shot at their soldiers, and then their ship's going to sink. Yeah. Let's see if we can kill that guy. Nice. Very nice. You were going to you were gonna drown anyways, my friend. Well, you're not really my friend, but you know what I mean. Uh, it shows that my weapons are damaged, but... Oh, okay. It must have been that one. Great. Scour the wreckage for valuables and trophies. Okay, we have fought three, and there are seven to go. This is a good time to put in a cut. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you are enjoying our little fights here. And uh, I hope you will join us for the next part or two of this series, which I'm going to record right away, but you'll see over the next day or two. Um, if you've enjoyed this, leave me a comment down below. Click that Like button, and be sure to check out the uh, exploration trailer. This game looks awesome, and once uh, once we can play the whole thing, I'm definitely going to have a series on it. I think that'll be in January. Um, I will see you next time. Bye!